Because I spit hot fire. Booties matter. My son gave me some ass. I'm my own boss and I got my own cash. I don't need a nigga. Only thing I need a bad. What the hell was that? <laughs> 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 I'm gonna ask you this one time. Where is Kiki? Yeah, I'll do you one better. Who's Kiki? I'll do you one better. Why is Kiki? Tell me where the girl is. Come here, you little blackish. Your ass belongs to me. I tell you what you can and can't do with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Let me talk to you. Yeah. Shut up, I'm talking. Kiki for you. Palmer, baby father, goes for the bag. Full custody of son, child support, and her house. This is what happens when you mess with somebody who's unequally yoked with you. He's an opportunist from the job. All right, YouTube, once again, back with another video with your man, Street Mechanic. Once again, Kiki Palmer. Once again, Usher, back at it again. This time, we got not only do we have a little show clip from her taking digs at her ex-boyfriend, Davis Jackson, we got a video with Kiki and Usher called Boyfriend. It's Usher's actual video. Kiki's in it. And, um, listen, this might be a little bit of a video here, but you know what? It is what it is. First off, let me just say this. Because you're going to have clips of people putting their two cents in, you know, and I'm going to put my two cents in. Well, the first two cents I'm going to add into this one is what makes him an opportunist? The man was with her all this time. I mean, he had his opportunity. I mean, what, what makes him opportunist? Because now he's uh, been poked, as they say, poking the bear. The man's been getting poked for the last, I don't know how long. I mean, you can't keep poking the bear and expect the bear not to react. I mean, come on. You're taking digs at the man. you still taking digs at the man. Us just helping to take digs at the man. Like, what more do you want? The man ain't said nothing since he said what he said when I did the last video. Okay, the first video with um, Kiki Palmer. So, what else do you want him to say? What do you want him to do? He's gonna do what he feels is right for him. If that means he gotta you know, step up to the plate, go for the bag, go for the kid, that's what he gotta do. He's not being an opportunist. He's just taking advantage of his opportunity to do what he gotta do. Come on now. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Y'all, Kiki Palmer's estranged ex, Darius Jackson, is going for the jugular. According to Media Takeout, Kiki Palmer's baby daddy wants full custody of their son, child support, and her house. According to Darius's friend, Kiki's baby father is going after the bag. The friend explained Darius has been the primary caregiver for son Leo, and so it makes sense for him to get custody. And since Kiki is the breadwinner of their family, he should get he should get child support. And there's more. Darius's friend tells us that he has been living in Kiki's Los Angeles mansion, and Darius's pal believes that he deserves to get her home too. The friend added, it makes sense. Leo was born in that house, and so he should continue to be raised there without disruption. If Kiki was a man, no one would question what the right thing would be. But there's a double standard when it comes to women who are the breadwinners and men who are stay-at-home fathers. Wow, with all the sarcasm she could use to tell this story. Listen, he should take care of his kids. Since she's out here performing, doing shows, that should be what his concern is. So, if that's the case, then yeah. If he's still staying at the mansion, then I don't think you should like snatch the mansion and everything. But you know what? You get what you gotta get to do what you gotta do for your child and you. You know what I'm saying? You can't no longer think about her. Cause she really ain't thinking about you unless she's uh hitting you with some lyrics or something. Taking digs at you. So, it is what it is. You know? 
it's, when it's a man, it automatically goes to the woman, right? The man got to pay up, so he, he's usually the breadwinner. So if it's reversed, then should it not be the same thing? In reverse, she's the breadwinner. Let him get the money. He's taking care of the kid. Let him get some money. Let him do what he got to do. I mean, it's simple enough. When the tables are turned, no one wants to hear it. No one wants to understand it. But as long as it's the status quo, the normal way, everything is all good. No. Go to court, child support, and do what you got to do for your child. Let her perform on the road, do what she's doing, and you do what you got to do. I mean, after all, how this whole thing come about? She did what she did. He said what he said. Everybody wanted to cancel him because of what he said. Yeah, he shouldn't have put it on social media. We already got that out the way. But still in all, he did use social media to say what he got to say. And they wanted to cancel him. In matter of fact, he might as well say they did cancel him because he had to erase his account from Twitter. So, you know, it is what it is. But you let that man do what he got to do for his child. You ain't got to worry about her. But anyway, once again, let's keep it moving. Now, this is all coming from a third party, so who knows what's true and what's not. Um, but I, I think, you know, this is a real, let, I just, ladies, let this be a warning system. Do not have children's with any of these crusty, dusty mustangs. One thing about oppressors is that they love to project their traits onto the people that they're oppressing. People say that women are petty, women are catty, women are vindictive and emotional. But yet, uh, men are the ones that be doing this type of custody battle nonsense. I, you know, I might have to do a whole uh, a post about the men's rights movement and how they use custody battles to stick it to women. Okay, so let me get this right. Men will take action against a woman are dusties. Is that what I'm hearing? Because he wasn't a Dusty before they got together. So why is he a Dusty now? Because he wants to take care of his child? Like, we gotta take all this stuff with a grain of salt because we don't know what's true and what's not. But let's just go under the assumption that this is true, okay? He wasn't a Dusty in the beginning. But now he's taking action, he's a Dusty now. And now you want to tell with your two cents, you want to tell women not to lay down with these dusty crusties or crusty dusties or whatever they are. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about, and we projecting, projecting our stuff onto. Hold up, hold on, miss, slow your roll. I mean, understand this, okay? If she got with him as a dusty, then what does that make her? Because either she knew he was a dusty or she didn't know he was dusty, but I'm pretty sure. The way that structure, family structure looked in pictures and everything, everybody's looking all happy, he wasn't a dusty. He was there for her when he should have been, and he did what he's supposed to do. But uh, once again, you can only poke the bear, but so much before the bear takes action. So let that be a lesson to y'all. Stop poking the damn bear, okay? Keep your mouth shut. Why you gotta keep saying stuff? Man said one thing and was done. One and done. You still going and going and going like you the energizer bunny. Stop it. There's a time and place for everything, okay? He said what he said. You did what you did. Leave it alone. But no, we're gonna keep going and going and going. This is what happens. And as for oppressors, who the hell is oppressing her? Who is oppressing her? Matter of fact, who's oppressing you? Jesus, Lord. Come on, now. He ain't stopped her from doing anything. He just said what he said. And y'all wanted to cancel him for that. So please, make it make sense. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't even let this one slide. I almost missed something. Hold on. You also said how men use custody battles to stick it to women. So... You're saying it like women never use custody battles to stick it to men. Are you serious? Did you really say that? I would love to see your video on uh, how men use custody battles to stick it to women because 
I guarantee you. Y'all are still sticking it to men to this day. What are you talking about? There's tons of videos out there where you women hold the kids over the man to stick it to him. What do you mean? Matter of fact, yeah, listen, man, I might have to make a video about how y'all use custody battles to stick it to men. Jesus Lord. Anyway. This response to the news from Lipstick Alley says that Darius Jackson is Delulu. He thinks the courts are going to be supporting his case. Kiki's baby daddy willingly berated and left the mother of his child while she was four to five months postpartum. He's also homeless and is unstable in living conditions. He lives with his mother or brother, depending on the situation. He is unstable in employment. He forced his ex-girlfriend to get an abortion so he can get a rich celeb pregnant, meaning that this means he is also emotionally abusive. And allegedly he has a criminal record. No judge is going to give an unstable, abusive, unemployed, homeless man who left their child's mother at four to five months postpartum cu custody of a baby. It's ludicrous and dangerous. She will get full or primary custody and he might get visitation. She needs to file now. You hear that, Kiki? File now. Although, <laughs> Kiki, Kiki's a Virgo. She, she filed the day that she had that baby. Listen, y'all ladies got to stop. Let these zodiac signs run your life. I'm, I'm telling you, y'all really influenced heavily by these uh, zodiac signs. Listen, that man has a chance, definitely, to get visitation, but he also has a chance to get custody. All the stuff that you reading, that she's reading, speculation, accusations. No one knows this for sure. I'm not going to even say hypothetically if it is or it isn't. I'm just going to say this. That man, if he has his affairs in order, he can get custody of, of his child. He can get child support. It is what it is. We all think that, we've been told that, we've been programmed to think that we as men don't really have any rights. Like, when it comes to court, you can get custody. You can get child support. You just got to have the right people in your corner. And even if you don't, you can still do it. Just have to have your affairs in order. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. And I'm telling you this because I've been in the courthouse. So I know. It is a true story that men can get custody and get child support. Trust me when I tell you this, fellas. So what do you think, folks? Do you think the friend is right? Is Darius really coming for the bag? And if he really is coming for the bag, do you think he's gonna get it? Kiki Palmer has to work a lot. She tours. The brother doesn't. Get custody of the child. Move the child into a school around you. Then take Kiki Palmer to court for child support. Get custody of the child. And the judge will give you custody of the child because you will be the primary caregiver for that child because Kiki Palmer has to work. Like many of you brothers work on a truck all the time. And because you're a truck driver, some woman takes your child from you. Well, you have to take Kiki Palmer's child when she's on the road. Then put Kiki Palmer on child support and take, oh, how much money could you get from Kiki Palmer? Right. $10,000 a month. That's right. Get it from her. Even when her career fails, she will still have to pay $10,000 a month. You're goddamn right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, where you at? What time is it? Damn it, I missed the show. Shit, I'm so tired. I'm a mother, after all. Well, you heard it from him, and you heard it from me. You got a shot. Fellas, y'all have a shot. You just have to have your affairs in order. That's all you gotta do. Just know that when you go there, and all your affairs in order, and you've had steady income, or you at least have money saved up, you, you can get child support. You can get custody of your child. Trust and believe. And Kiki Palmer, 
Yeah, I got one thing to say to you. You are definitely a mother. <laughs> you are right about that. You are definitely a mother. But anyway, to that lady who narrated that bunch of crap that she calls a story, listen, your two cents shouldn't even have been in it. You sitting there trying to pass off some information that is accusations and and nothing substantial, nothing concrete, you could have saved all that. But y'all women, some of y'all women, some of y'all women, like to throw salt in the wounds just for purposes of to humiliate and for lack of a better word soften a man okay and in the end you're really not doing that if anything you're making yourself look real stupid you could have kept that bit of information to yourself but you're doing what you want to do you're doing your you call your job so do your thing but just understand this as men we always have a chance when it comes to a kid because these states want you to take care of your kid they want you to be involved in their life a lot of them i don't know about all of them but a lot of them do so let this be a lesson to you fellas see how these chicks act like they say don't lay down with dusties and crusties. Same thing go for them. Don't lay down with these, these, whatever words you want to use for them. I'm not making up any right now. Y'all know what terms y'all use. Y'all, y'all got to be careful with these tricks out here. Because as you can see, this type of crap that happens. How they say you lay down with dogs and you get fleas. Listen, a lot of fleas out there, bro. And ticks. So we go. Be careful. But see, this is why I say take these things with a grain of salt. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Either way, what he should do, we already know what he should do. What he does do, I guess we'll find out anyway. 